Well, today I'm here with one of the most recognized faces and one of the top Calypsonians in Montserrat history. He may not have uh, won the crown, but everybody knows Mr. Radio, Mr. Fenton. How are you today, sir? I'm bad, I'm bad. Okay. Can I ask you a question? How old were you when you first became interested in Calypso? About 12 years. 12 years old? Yes, very, very young. Okay. Which Calypso did you like to hear when you were growing up? Oh, it was about, just about the broad types. The broad types were really um, some of the Antiguans, some of the Trinidadians, and right back here. Mm -hmm. Like short shirt? Oh, yes, short shirt. And, mm -hmm. and some of those guys from um, Antigua and Trinidad. And back here, from where we right down to mm -hmm. some of the great guys in there. Yeah, Hero and those guys right yeah. there. Um, did you like Swallow and those yeah. guys, Kaiso Joe and those guys? Yeah, you know, someone interesting. They really used to put over certain things. Yes. Probably, but it led to something else eventually. Mm -hmm. Was there one particular Calypso that you like, like Sparrow? Was there one that you used to really admire? I can't say that right now. I can't you know, really think. I have some very old fans. Mm -hmm. Old fans like um, Kaneri and um, who can do those guys? Okay. Okay. Small mm -hmm. yeah. yes. Do you remember the first song you ever wrote? The first song I wrote was a song called Moon Man. Moon Man? Yeah. You remember what year that was? That was when I was very young, mm -hmm. 14, 15. Mm -hmm. yeah. What was that about? That was when Collins and Charles and those guys visited the coast around uh, Tuscan on the moon. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that was in all the way now, back in Gomba Central School. Okay. Yeah, that was the first thing, the first time up here. So that probably was 1969 or so, because that was when they landed yeah. on the moon? Yeah. Okay. But um, obviously you were too young then to be in the Calypso yeah. Finals, yeah. in the Calypso Monarch. Um, then you became a teacher? Yeah. Mm -hmm. When did you first try, did you ever go to Junior Calypso, did they ever have Junior Calypso in those days? No, no, no. No Junior Calypso? No, Size. Mm -hmm. They come um, whatever you call it, class seven. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Whatever they can find as promising talents coming up. Okay, okay. And um, you remember the first time you were in the Calypso finals? Yeah, it was 76. 76? Yeah. Mm -hmm. That was the first time. It was the same come and you were speaking about just now. Okay. Yeah. Did you try before and <coughs> did not make the finals or was that the first year you entered? The first year I entered. Okay, good. Um, I think I think Arrow won that year. If I'm not mistaken, do you remember how you finished? No, no, no. Fine for the final, that was just about the best thing I could have done at the moment. Okay, all right. Now, I know you had a series of songs that all had the title Man. Yeah. Which are like Inspired Man, Cameraman, Sword Man, and so. Was that purposeful? You did you designed it that way? Yeah, yeah. Um, well, how yeah. did you come up with that idea? I took it from the Bible and Ten Commandments of Man, but not necessarily for the idea. Christian girl part of it. Mm -hmm. But I, 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 just, I arrived at um, 7 I couldn't go much more for them. I mean, I was short of 3. Yeah. yeah. You remember the 7? Yeah, I remember the 7. What are they? Gumbo man, preacher man, inspired man, sword man, son of man, white man, and the that man. Okay. Good. Is, is sword man your favorite? Well, I most people figure so. Mm -hmm. to get their own. I know it was the most successful one, but is it your personal favorite? No, no, no. no, no, no. Which one is your personal favorite? Uh, I like the music of Son of Man. Son of Man? Yeah, the music itself. Mm -hmm. The arrangement and the way I had the, um, the going down of the um, melody. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, but Son Man had more, more lyrics, lyrical content too. Yes, That's, yes. Yeah. Yes. Up to this day, people say they don't understand Son Man. Well, <laughs> mystery. <laughs> so, voila. Uh, did you make it complicated on purpose so no, people? No, 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 no. Okay. As plain as I could have um, derived at um, getting the lyrics together. Okay. Those are not the lyrics I would have gone for right now, but whatever that's prison stem from at that moment. Mm -hmm. That was just about where the cap was. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. Now you came close. You came close to winning a few times, but you fell short. I think you finished first runner up several times. Once. Um, one time? Yeah, once. What year was that? 79. 79? Yeah. Reality 1? Yeah. 
and you were first runner up. Um, yes, I think in '78. I think '78 was when you sang "I'm Back, I'm Back." Um, yeah. Okay. '77. '77. Okay, okay, okay. Because you had you had you you didn't you did you had said you were stopping and then your fans wanted you to come back. Yeah, I don't know that was the same year. The same year. I'm back and I'm um, inspired man. Inspired man. Yeah. I don't okay. Know what year do you think was your best? Where you had your best two songs when you said, you know what, that year I should have won. I never gave it a second thought. I never gave it a second thought. Somebody mm -hmm. told me this woman I had one. Some of the judges told me that to him. He had his arm. Um, First class for the um, the combo. Mm -hmm. What do you call a um, majority wise? Mm -hmm. Something else came up for the result. Mm -hmm. They had no choice but to make it the only way it was. Yeah, yeah. When you when you look back at, like I said, you started off as a Calypso fan. You used to follow a lot of those guys, like you said, like Warrior and Hero and these guys before you started singing. When you look back, where do you think you rank among Monster Calypsonians? I don't, I don't say much there. No? No. Right now, I don't even see himself as one of those Californians. I need to be for the soul, man. Mm -hmm. Something else just trigger off the whole vibe. Mm -hmm. Some of the what we're talking about just mm -hmm. right all this. Yes. Yeah. Okay. The vibe just put you side of it. Mm -hmm. Okay. So the sword man was what put you on the map. That was the yeah. this song. Okay. So, um, well, this year's the 50th anniversary and everything. Did they ask you to perform this year? Apart from what I spoke to you about just a while ago with um, culture. Mm -hmm. That's the only person who I'm trying to make it a headache right now, but mm -hmm. I'll get away. <laughs> yes, I'll yes. Get away. yes, but you know a lot of people out there admire I mean, even in the United States, people still talk about radio and, you know, your songs, them and everything, and how they last generations, you know, and they make people think, you know. These songs were not just ordinary calypsos. These were songs that made you think. So, you you know, you're, you're held in very high esteem. Do you realize that? <laughs> okay. Well, thank you very much for speaking with us today, and I appreciate it, and all the best for the season. Okay, I try, I try. Thank you, sir. Okay. All right.